Monarchs are incredibly strong, but incredibly fragile. They can fly up to 10,000 feet, 3,000 miles, but just your fingers alone can break them. Monarch butterflies are a large butterfly that's found throughout the U.S. They are bright orange in color, very eye-catching with black lines on them. They are one of the most metropolitan and cosmopolitan butterflies. You'll find them in city gardens and out in the woods. Not all monarchs go to Mexico. So monarchs that are east of the Rocky Mountains and north of Florida go to Mexico. Monarchs that are west of the Rocky Mountains go to Baja California for the winter. And monarchs in Florida stay in Florida for the winter because this is obviously the best place to be in the winter already. Our population of monarchs is called a sink population. So butterflies migrate in and never leave, sort of like the Hotel California. But our monarchs stay here year round and we do get new genes into our gene pool every year because of that migration. By planting butterfly gardens, you can create more habitat for butterflies, which are one of the species that's easiest to create habitat for and you can do with the least amount of space. You need a combination of two different types of plants. You'll need first nectar plants, which will attract your adult butterflies. That's what the butterflies feed from and get their fuel from. You'll also need host plants. Monarchs host entirely on milkweed plants. So if you don't have milkweed, you won't have monarch caterpillars. Monarchs start off as a tiny little egg that the female monarch will deposit on a leaf. That tiny caterpillar will spend about two weeks eating and eating and eating. They will consume more leaves and stems than you can think possible. And at the end of that, they will make a chrysalis, which is a little bit different than a cocoon. A chrysalis is made just of their own skin. So the monarch will hang upside down in a J shape, usually from a leaf or a stem, and will slowly slide out of its skin. And inside, you'll see that beautiful green pod. About two weeks after that, the adult monarch will emerge from that chrysalis. They will slowly hatch out of that, that chrysalis in what's called eclosing. That's the uh, special butterfly word for hatching. They will climb out of their chrysalis head first, grab onto the chrysalis and hang onto it, and let their wings slowly drop underneath them using gravity to help expand their wings. Any day spent among butterflies is a day well spent.